Hello, you two. Welcome back to Life Tommy C. I'm your uh, host, uh, Tommy uh, Cunningham. In today's video, what we are planning to talk about is a little bit about my favorite thing in the entire world. radio scanners and like what in the world am I feeling excited about listening to in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina? Well, let me tell you. The first thing I feel excited about listening to is is all the different radio frequencies they got down there. Like number one, their hotels. Number two, their police. Number three, their airport. Sadly, I can't listen to their, their like, uh, their, uh, they're like different, um, they're like different stuff down there, like their DMR radios, cause, cause kind of, I don't even have like a DMR capacity radio, and looking on there, they got four different DMR systems, like part of their hotels use DMR. Like a couple of their DMR locations are down there. Like, uh, like a couple of other obstacles, they use like three different radio stuff down there. Like, uh, like number one, their county is fully DMR, so. So if you guys are not a DMR fan, I wouldn't recommend you guys listen to it because cause DMR might do bad for you. So like, so like also looking around at like the different radio stuff online or like on here on YouTube, Like, this right here is like what the Nyer County Firewire looks like, right here. You guys see they currently use the Lockport Police Dispatch. They also use, like, their Sheriff's Invest... Their Sheriff's Investigation Unit. They also got a Fire One. There is like, there is like a lot of different like radio stuff you guys can listen to, but you guys got to be careful or the radio frequencies might come together. Like this system right here that I'm currently listening to is a digital P25 radio system, see? Kind of like our system we got here in, in my county, like our statewide system, okay? So like also, So, like, also, if you guys are not yet subscribed to Lifetime C, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And this is what fire control sounds like. So like that right there is like a different radio receiver. 
from like different areas. Well, it's like also you guys can find like like multiple and multiple different radio stuff from like several several different areas. So like number one for for like number one the first radio frequency that 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 I recommend you guys listen to. If you guys are ever in the area, it's like listen to your local ham radios, all right? Because the local ham radios, those get a lot different, and sometimes they get a lot busy when, like, a big disaster happens, like on the FRS radio frequencies. Because different people might have to use snow plows. Different people might have to use like, like different stuff. So kind of like what I heard, like on the different radio stuff in Indiana, there is like, number one, If you guys going up there to Indianapolis, the Indianapolis airport got a lot of radio frequencies. So that's like their various businesses. But you guys got to understand some of their various businesses are like DMR, like the JW Marriott, like the... Uh, Like the different areas like around there. So like So like also you guys can find like like several more like different radio stuff in Indiana. Like when you guys go down there to Vandenberg County, they got their own P25 system. But Tropicana, the casino down there, which is now called Bally's, they got different radio frequencies there. Like their security uses DMR, there, um, sometimes a lot of places use like DMR just to help out the different places. So like you guys might be using like more and more like new radio frequencies. Like if you guys are not used to that area. Kind of like so much more. And like looking around the different radio stuff in Indiana from like, from like New York. New York has like a, a, a bigger radio frequency, okay? Plus, like, this is what Niagara Active EMS. So that right there is, like, what the different radio stuff looks like in Niagara Falls. Well, sadly, Bermuda, they are currently using, like, a new improved radio system. Like, when we go over there to Bermuda, I will try to record as much as I can. 
like while we're on the cruise ship and like while we're over there in like Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Because there is like a whole lot more like different radio stuff you guys can listen to and like do more and more like different stuff. Like honestly, the, the four different stuff you guys can do, it's like number one, you guys can go to the Indianapolis Zoo. Number two is you guys can go to the Indianapolis Children's Museum. Number three, you guys can go check out more and more like different radio stuff in the surrounding areas. And number four, uh, you, you, you guys can go check out the Falls of the Ohio. Now, now I've seen the Falls of the Ohio, and the Falls of the Ohio is like a really, really, really nice area, I have to say. Like then after that, you, um, the fifth area, this area is down there in Florida, okay? This place is called, um, the Orlando Sanford International Airport. They only do one airline that goes there, at Legion Airlines. And like when I took a Legion, I was like totally shocked. Like, like they use touch screens to make sure everything is doing okay, like on the aircraft. And I think that is just so crazy. Now, plus also, Now, plus also, you guys can find, like, like, number one, the first radio frequency I would advise you guys listening to is, like, the public safety frequencies. Because down there in, in Florida, they use, like, a lot of analog radio frequencies, Okay. Like, then after that, you guys have, like, some reason why that, that you guys don't want to listen to it, okay? All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe and that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.